Hello, welcome to the video on more on angles and lines. So this is our third example set, example set C. And what we're going to do here is basically fill in the blanks. We've got a lot of information that we're um, being asked to find. And let's read the problem. It's always helpful. So we're going to use a diagram and some given information to find the measures of all these particular angles. So we have uh, a measure of angle EFD, and we're told to find all these other angle measures in our diagram when, when that particular um, angle, EFD, is 30 degrees. And then we're asked to find the angle measure of all these different angles when it's just simply um, X degrees, this uh, angle EFD. And so let's take a look at our diagram here. All right, so here's our, our nice diagram. And just take note that we're given another piece of vital information and that is um, we have two rays, two sets, two pairs of rays that are perpendicular to one another, and that's really important. So BF, ray BF is perpendicular to FD. So ray BF is perpendicular to FD. So therefore, this total angle is 90 degrees. Really important. Okay. And ray CF is perpendicular to ray FE. So this angle right here, these two rays are perpendicular. So this angle is 90 degrees, okay? And the angle that we're given to uh, basically kick this problem off is angle EFD, okay? So this is EFD, all right? So we'll go ahead and start when EFD is 30 degrees, and we'll use all this information to basically find all the rest of these angles, and uh, we'll be able to fill in our chart. So let's go ahead and start now. Okay, so angle EFD when it's 30 degrees. All right. So what do we know? Well, one of the things I know is this, these two rays right here are perpendicular. So therefore, this total angle sum is 90 degrees. So if this is 30 degrees right here, this particular angle, EFD, well, this angle right here has to be 60 degrees. Okay, these are complementary angles. So 30 plus 60 is 90. Okay, all right, so we're going to use the same technique here. I want to erase some of this stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and recall that we have another pair of perpendicular angles. That's that BF and FD ray. Okay, our rays. All right, so these two rays right here are perpendicular. So this total angle sum right there is 90 degrees. So this angle right here has got to be 30 degrees. Okay, because 30 plus 60, that's, that forms a total angle, and it's got to be 90 degrees. Okay, once again, they're complementary. All right, hopefully this isn't too difficult. I'm going to get rid of all this. All right, so how can we find this last angle? Well, we know that this angle right here, okay, CF, is perpendicular to FE, but FE, okay, that line or that ray is also part of a line right here that is formed by AFE, okay? So therefore, these two um, rays, okay, or this line, uh, this ray here is, is perpendicular to this ray. That's one way to look at it, okay? Or you can look and see that you have 30, 60, and 30 right here. So you have this entire angle. It's pretty easy for you to find the supplement of, um, of that, okay? So either, either technique or either strategy will work. So let's go ahead and um, use the first one, okay? So I know that AFC is also 90 degrees. It's uh, perpendicular. Okay, they're perpendicular to one another. And if this is 30, this has to be 60 degrees right here. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in our chart so we don't uh, mix things up. So measure of angle CFD. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and just look. CFD, okay, that was 60 degrees. Okay, the measure of AFB. AFB, that's also 60 degrees. The measure of BFE. B, F, uh, E, okay, so you've got to be careful here. We've got to reference our chart, okay? So B, F, 
E is going to be this total sum right here. So this is going to be 90 and 30. So that will be 120. Okay. And then we have the measure of B, F, C. That's B, F, C, 30 degrees. All right. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, move forward. And let's consider this problem now. I'm going to get rid of all of this. I'm going to actually leave the angles here because I think you'll see a pattern. Let's consider the problem now when EFD is X degrees. So this is going to be X, okay, not 30. So how do we get this first angle right here, this angle that's formed CFD? How do we get that last time? All right. Well, we knew that it was a complementary angle to 30 degrees. So we simply took 90 degrees and took away 30 degrees. And that's how we can get this angle right here. This is going to be 90 minus X. Okay. So that's what this angle is. If this is X, this is 90 minus X because these are complementary angles. Okay. But now let's notice, let's notice the, uh, the pattern here. If this was 30 degrees and this was 30 degrees. And now this is X. So this also should be what? This should be X. Okay. And you can kind of just continue the pattern. All right. If this was 60 degrees and this was 60 degrees and this was 90 minus X. Well, this is also going to be 90 minus X. Okay. All right. So that's one way of, of approaching it. You could go through the same logic as we did the first time and get, you know, find the same conclusions here. But you, you want to look at patterns in geometry. You don't have to make your life necessarily harder. You always want to, you know, it's that old adage. You try to, you want to always want to try to work smarter, not harder. So hopefully this uh, helps you out. And now we need, we need to go back and look at our chart. Okay. So measure of angle CFD. All right. So now let's go and find it. CFD is this angle right here. And that would be 90 minus X. Okay. Degrees. The measure of AFB. Okay. AFB. That's also 90 minus X. All right. 90 minus X. And now let's go ahead and take a look at this one. We've got a lot of things going on here. Let me use a different color. Let's look at the measure of angle BFE. Okay. So BFE. All right. So what is the measure of it? Well, it's going to be the sum total. It's going to be this angle. Okay. Which is this right here. Okay. So that's X plus this 90 minus X, right? That's this angle. And then we also have another X degrees over here. All right. So it's going to be this X plus this 90 minus X. Okay. These are the angle measures and this X right here. So this will be an X plus an X. That's two X plus 90 minus X. All right. You see that? Okay. And then of course we can simplify this a little bit better. So 2x minus x is going to be x plus 90, x plus 90. And that makes sense because we know already this is 90 degrees, right? Remember these two rays were perpendicular. This is already 90, and we can add on x degrees there. So uh, 90 plus x right here. Okay. And now we just simply need to go ahead and answer this last one, the measure of angle BFC. All right, so B, F, C, on our, on our uh, diagram here, it was X degrees. So we're just going to plug in X right there. All right, so, you know, our figure got a little crazy here. Um, I was putting a lot of stuff. The, uh, that's also important. You want to, um, uh, course, work neat and be organized and take your time, especially with this. easy to get confused. That's why I really strongly uh, suggest pencil. Okay, you definitely want to use a pencil have a good eraser, give yourself plenty of room. And, um, you know, there may be times where, you know, you might have to do the prom, maybe uh, draw a diagram out a few times. That's okay. As long as you're neat and you know what you're doing, that's just kind of part of the uh, price you pay to get these uh, problems uh, correct. But I thought this was a pretty good exercise. It certainly showed the relationship between complementary and supplementary angles and perpendicular lines. Okay. 
And so um, keep working hard. Definitely don't get uh, discouraged. And uh, good luck. We'll see you soon.